This is Dr. Merzine from uh, SyriacDoctors.com and I'm going to highlight how to capture optical impressions so that you can uh, develop a full arch upper and a full arch lower model. Uh, the very first thing we do is uh, have the patient uh, place the optical gate in the patient's mouth, have the patient bite down at a maximum intercuspation, and we're going to go ahead and capture the buckle bite. Very critical that we get enough landmarks uh, from the facial of the upper jaw and the lower jaw particularly the area from the central to the lateral, so you have very solid landmarks for stitching purposes so they can relate the upper jaw to the lower jaw. Then we'll go ahead and place the isolite and retract the tongue and retract the lips for easy access. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to capture images from the second molar all the way to about the uh, right lateral, even the right canine, the lower canine. You need very good landmarks all the way to the canine so they can relate this left part of the quadrant to the right part of the quadrant. This all makes sense when it comes together towards the end of the video. So here are the optical impressions that we've taken uh, for this quadrant and we're going to go ahead and use the advanced feature and click on add quadrant. We're going to save all these pictures that we took in a, on the desktop in the right hand corner and those are maintained for you. I'm going to go ahead and uh, dust the upper uh, quadrant here and the upper maxilla as well on the left side because I've got the eye slide in and I'm going to capture those optical impressions. So once I've captured those I've gone all the way to about the central. Ideally you should go to about the lateral or even the canine. Uh, we'll go ahead and use that uh, advanced feature again and place all of our images in the add quadrant folder. So again these are placed in the save area they're going to come back to later after you capture the uh, optical impressions. So here's a view uh, of how we ca capture these optical impressions. Again, you can see how uh, easy the access is, the patient's not moving, the lips retracted, the tongue's not in the way, the isolate's keeping the area nice and dry, and we just go around the arch form and capture those optical impressions you saw on the Cirex software. So I go all the way across to about the midline, across the midline, capture the lateral, and maybe even the canine, and uh, we save these uh, digital images in the save area on the desktop. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the isolite and place it on the opposing arch on the other side. And we're going to capture the same optical impressions of the upper jaw and the lower jaw on the right side. So here's the, uh, uh, the isolite that's been uh, placed on the right side of the patient's mouth. And we're going to go ahead and powder the upper jaw and we're going to capture those optical impressions. So here what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that uh, we capture enough images uh, beyond the central and all the way maybe towards the lateral so that we have common landmarks between the two different sets of images. So here they are. These are the optical impressions that we just took and we're going to go to that advanced feature and click on um, merge and what the software is going to do it's going to look for common landmarks namely here the central incisors and it's going to develop a very large model for you. Now this is a little bit uh, sped up in time. This is not an immediate process. It takes a good five to ten seconds for the software to do the analysis and merge those two quadrants together. Uh, let's go ahead and do the same for the lower arch. We've got the isolation in place and we're going to uh, uh, dust and powder the lower arch on the right side. And again, you notice the isolate. It's placed all the way to the canine. So we've got uh, good retraction. Ideally, we could have used a uh, a deep vestibule uh, ice slide here or maybe even a large one to really displace the tongue. Uh, what I'm featuring here is how to image the lower arch. It's a little bit tricky and as you come from the second molar, the first molar and all the way to the canine there's no need to rotate your camera. Just have it pointing to the tip have it, the tip of the camera pointing to the back of the throat, throat and go as far as you can uh, towards the uh, opposing side's canine. So now let's take a look at these uh, images that we just captured. So these are the images. I got all the way to about the canine until I hit the isolate. And we're going to do the same thing as we did for the upper arch. We're going to go to the advanced feature. And we're going to click on the merge field. And since we have common landmarks between the two sets of images, between the, uh, uh, the uh, centrals and laterals and even the canines, when we click on the advanced feature, the software uh, will merge these two sets of information together. Again, this is a good 10 second process where the software will try and look for common landmarks and then automatically stitch the uh, two different arches together as long as it finds common landmarks. Now that we've uh, captured the whole arch clinically, this is the easiest way you can do it uh, uh, by sectioning it and uh, handling it in manageable sections and merging them together. Now we can click on the model step and uh, proceed with the design or uh, rendering of the models.